Um, hello. Uh, how's everyone's day? Uh, hopefully it's good. Uh, grace and peace be multiplied to you. And the love of Jesus Christ reign in your hearts. And the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Uh, this video is not, uh, I'm not even too sure what it's actually going to be talking about. Basically, it's just going to be the same thing as to, to keep it advancing. Uh, not to wait for, for, uh, for these individuals to hit you to fight back. Uh, but to just keep uh, advancing and moving forward and, and, and fighting the enemy. Uh, in all aspects, in all day-to-day -day activities, uh, and in everything, and in every single thing that you do, you must give it to Christ that we actually are not relying on your own knowledge, and so because of it, your entire work is in vain, uh, and you're just going around in the wilderness, wandering in deserts, or you're wandering in the, wilder in the wilderness for uh, 40 years. Don't waste your time, give it to Christ, uh, as this is God's liking, as what I've been saying prior to this. It's still relevant to you. You still have to be doing the things according to God's liking. And not at all doing the things how you feel, how you think, or what you have learned. Uh, let it all go and give it to Christ as you know absolutely nothing about your life. And if until these actual revelations actually uh, came upon your path and came across your uh, your lives... Uh, you were believing contrary to what I was actually saying. Uh, so obviously sh revealing that the fact that you were actually didn't know a thing. Uh, keep nudging the body of Christ and ensuring that these individuals are all doing the same works that they're supposed to be doing. Everyone in the body of Christ, everyone in the body of Christ is actually doing the work that they're supposed to be doing, that they're called for. And in essence, uh, not wasting their time and having their work being in vain. In Jesus Christ's name, as Jesus Christ is more than has more than enough wisdom and is wise enough to actually ensure that every individual is doing it uh, without the foreign knowledge. If these individuals in the kingdom of darkness can slip up, can slip in little um, uh, what would be the word? Little angels of lights inside of your life without you even noticing. Uh, then you can do the same. Christ can do the same, but with the opposite uh, thing. With real angels of lights. Uh, but uh, basically, this video is going to be about heart issue, uh, and just going to be about the heart. Uh, as many individuals are uh, more or less uh, caring more about what another individual says, does, or is going to do to them. Uh, and not only that, uh, when they actually do do something nice for an individual, uh, the other individual backstabs them, and because they backstab them, uh, they think that they have to retaliate or, or they have to do uh, something like that. So I'm just gonna. Unfortunately, not everyone has the same heart as you, so don't worry about someone potentially being shady to you. Uh, they'll be judged for their heart, and you'll be judged for yours. So by that uh, alone, you should just be like, yeah, well. Uh, they're in their own judgment. Uh, God bless you. Uh, pray for them to prevent that actual stuff from happening in their lives. Uh, as um, obviously, what what I mean by before that actually ends up happening in their life uh, is before they actually do something shady to you or they do something grimy to you. Uh, so whether you had the good intentions behind it and the other individual didn't, they'll be judged for their heart and you'll be judged for yours. Uh, and that's it, and that's self-explanatory. As many individuals are too scared to actually do something good for another individual. Uh, like, uh, I'm going to give the best example that I could give uh, is with homeless people themselves. Uh, many individuals have this, um, uh, well, they, they hear stories and rumors about homeless people that, oh, you can't give homeless people any money, you better give them snacks. Or you better give them food, or, or who knows what they'll do. They end up buying uh, beer with their money. Obviously, this is more of the stuff that I was actually leaning uh, towards, uh, just because. Um, 
uh, you just give them the money essentially uh they're going to be judged for their actions and you're going to be judged for yours uh so in essence it doesn't really matter god is the one who's looking at your heart and seeing your integrity and what you're actually doing uh that you d weren't doing it with the intention of this individual actually uh buying alcohol or liquor with it but you're actually doing it uh with the intent is in that this individual would actually uh hopefully save their money uh, for a more appropriate time, uh, that way they could actually wait uh, until they actually have enough money. They've collected enough money to actually be able to rent a room. Uh, that way they could actually be cleaned up and um, and you you know they're actually more approachable for, and it's more likely for them to actually get a job and to actually be able to work. Uh, in short, or not even just for that, just for them to actually apply for unemployment, as these individuals now have uh, uh, some sort of um, or financial assistance or financial aid, as these individuals now have something uh, a little more than what they actually had before. So now they actually have a room; they can shower every day in that room, uh, and and things like that. Uh, but that's that's about it. That's that's my sole reason why I even po uh, posted that is to get you to understand that it's not really uh, on you what another individual does based on your good intentions and actual good actions that you uh, had for this individual. Uh, they could completely backstab you, but uh, that's all entirely on on them and not at all on Christ. Uh, so. Or and not at all on you. Christ is the one who's going to judge them for for their evil, because He Himself knows uh, uh, the per he, he knows you full well. He knows your wickedness as well. So humble yourself down. Uh, Leviathan is behind the infested Christians. Oh, uh, this one is pretty uh, self-explanatory. I'll get uh, more in depth about that, but first I'm just going to talk about the reason why. Uh, Leviathan himself, obviously I've been mentioning about it, is the reason why he blinds individuals his eyes with pride and to them never accepting that that there could be anything wrong with them, that they're actually saved, uh, even though they're walking on the broad path of destruction, and that these individuals are uh, essentially... Um, how would I word it? That these individuals are bought, redeemed, uh, and uh, sanctified by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Uh, but these individuals are still playing video games. They still listen to secular music. Uh, they still swear. Uh, they still make inappropriate jokes. They're still petty. Uh, this is not the gospel whatsoever. So uh, although these individuals like to have some sort of connection with one another because of it, uh, it's the spirits behind these individuals that have this connection. They're more nodding their head in approval that they're deceiving uh, these types of individuals into believing uh, the petty uh, and especially the inappropriate jokes are actually something that is not a uh, sin. Uh, these are more of the obvious uh, of angels of lights that try to come inside of your life. Uh, but uh, for many individuals who have been walking on the narrow path, uh, just because it's, it's be simple with evil, uh, obviously it's like, oh, that's completely inappropriate. Uh, Christ himself died for us. We're not even called to be petty. Those are the those are the, the types of individuals. The, individu the individuals who actually act like that are the individuals who are still very much in the world. Uh, I have seldom seen an individual who has actually been petty. Uh, I have seldom seen an individual who has actually been uh, inappropriate, who is uh, part of the kingdom of, of, of light themselves. As I'm sure the Holy Spirit, these individuals already know what it's like to have the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Holy Spirit himself is always tugging you and always telling you not to, uh, uh, you know, just not to act un unseemly, uh, not to act stupid, and just to be intelligent. Uh, so fight, bind and loose, loose allegiance inside of yourself and inside of your vessels. Uh, that way you're canceling out all the wickedness that is actually inside of you. As this seems to be the main reason why there's, uh, your discernment isn't working properly and because of it, uh, you're suffering tremendously. Uh, not right now, many individuals don't like to think so, but uh, trust me, this work is, is, it only takes a matter of time before uh, you actually begin to notice uh, the disturbances. Uh, the suffrages and the discomforts. Uh, so read the book of Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Ecclesiasticus, the wisdom of Solomon, and other Jewish wisdom books and books in general, and it will open your eyes to your own depravity. As prior to that, you had no knowledge that what you were doing was sin, exposing how much of a reprobate you actually were. And your face shall be transform transformed, because these rebukes that stemmed from the issues of your heart will melt away. 
you will not be able to do it by yourself but by grace and Christ alone which is why people die for want of wisdom uh, this one is pretty self-explanatory in itself but obviously you don't really have that type of experience for you to actually be uh, to, for you to actually know uh, why I even said the things that I actually said uh, but it, it's just uh, you're actually going to have to take some action actually read the scriptures themselves and actually see for yourself uh, that uh, the things that are actually written in there are genuinely good uh, things uh, that many individuals are very ignorant of towards their virtuous things. They don't know how to treat other individuals is, uh, who are actually um, who they who they actually come across while they're shopping or are doing things like that, uh, as well as for just general wisdom uh, wise proverbs like uh, concerning adultery. Uh, obviously fornication is more the the sins that people are just like oh no no way I don't want to deal with those types uh, of people or I don't want to deal with that type of spirit uh, and uh, just and things like that as the book of Proverbs as well has uh, a general um, overall um, manual of of the life of of what a man should live like or as that's essentially what it is uh the more you read it uh the more you can hearken to it uh the more you kick leviathan out from you actually reading the scriptures and, uh, and proverbs themselves uh the more you'll be able to retain it as this is the actual reason why you're forgetful uh why your mind is sometimes blocked from you not being able to remember uh, certain scriptures passages uh, or, or just wisdom itself uh, it has to deal with leviathan uh, and god resisting you this devil obviously tempted you on purpose uh, that way he would be able to block uh, these certain um Uh, these certain verses from the book of Proverbs and all the other ones I named, like Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiastes, uh, and the Wisdom of Solomon, as well as other Jewish books, uh, as these are generally, the book of Proverbs in itself is a Jewish book because Solomon was Jewish, so obviously you could equate that, right? That Jewish books are generally more on the righteous side of things, uh, and Jewish books are generally more uh, is grounded uh, in the God of Israel. So obviously wisdom has to deal with the God of Israel. This has to deal with uh, God's uh, nature uh, and God's goodness as well. So I'll definitely read the book of Proverbs as this in itself is actually going to make your rebukes that are on your face uh, melt away. Uh, as an individual who's not really as experienced as a 27-year-old or a 28-year-old, or they're more 20 years old. They haven't really had uh, as much experience, and they haven't fallen into as many sins uh, or as many temptations as an individual who is actually 27 or 28. So obviously, this would explain why an individual who is younger uh, looks younger, and it's because they haven't really uh, been growing in this um, uh, in this earth for for enough time to actually uh, gain the experience that they actually. Uh, and, uh, an individual who is much older has actually gained. Uh, so, uh, so this is for obviously the younger individuals to to be wise and think ahead. Uh, always be prepared for these types of trials and, and temptations. That the, the Leviathan is going to come inside of your life to attempt to destroy your image, how you look like. Uh, as I didn't have this knowledge whatsoever when I was some of these individuals' his age, I had to learn uh, by my own personal integrity. Uh, uh, what the stuff was actually, what I was actually doing was wrong. What I actually, uh, what I actually was doing was, uh, was bad. Um, uh, so I myself bear witness that the the rebukes definitely will melt away. As some individuals uh, have this general notion and conception that uh they have the, they had this awkward stage uh when they were teenagers uh these were rebukes for the, these individuals obviously not doing uh what they were supposed to be doing and Christ himself was rebuking these individuals is uh for actually living in sin uh so this awkward stage when you get much older you obviously don't act in the same manner as you did when you were cringy uh as people can often look back and just be like uh oh, man why why would I ever act like that 
and in essence, it's the same exact principle and the same exact concept. Uh, not everybody is the same. People are different. Some people degenerated, uh, and some people regenerated. Uh, so everybody is obviously uh, not the same person and not the same individual. Everyone reacts differently to to different messages. Uh, somebody can be offended by somebody else trying to genuinely help them out, uh, but somebody else could who, uh, could actually have eyes to see and see and be like, yeah, I see your actions. Uh, and although the devil does come inside of your inside of my life to try to uh, to tempt me with his words that you're somehow doing wrong to me, uh, your actions completely say otherwise. Uh, so I'm sorry. I apologize, uh, and please forgive me. Uh, the devil is the one who deceived me with his lies that you were this and you were that, and I believe them. Uh, so obviously everyone deserves to uh, deserves an apology. I'm not the only person that, sh- that individuals have ever wronged. Uh, as the devil definitely loves to sow discord and loves to cause problems where there is none, uh, even though an individual's his actions say completely uh, otherwise. Uh, so this is a mind game, as what I've been saying. This is a game. This is not a game of wits, but a game of authority. So. Uh, as these individuals are actually using their wits uh, to try to convince you uh, to bind your eyes from another individual's his actions. And so take your authority and use your authority. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. But yeah, uh, so basically I, I myself already see... Uh, I already have the proper experience for me to actually be able to talk about the, uh, reading the Book of Wisdom, uh, what it's done for my life, uh, and how my life has actually changed uh, for the better uh, f- from these uh, Proverbs and wise sayings. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be able to, um, what would be the word? Uh, not that you're not going to be able to do it by yourself, but that too, but... You're obviously going to have to take action. And you're obviously going to have to uh, move in the right direction and get up. Uh, well, you're essentially going to have to move, and that's basically it. Uh, there's no other word to say, and there's nothing else. You're not going to be able to do it by yourself, but by grace and Christ alone, which is why people die for want of wisdom. Uh, people die for want of wisdom because you're doing it by themselves. Leviathan and and just things like that. Just just because these individuals uh, have this want of wisdom, they don't really recognize what wisdom actually is, because uh, it comes uh, at a, at, a, at an appropriate time when you're actually able to take and retain these types of uh, wise saying and, and and wisdom itself. Uh, you yourself can actually read these scriptures, but these things naturally happen. You can't force wisdom inside of your vessel. Uh, you can't force uh, anything that has to deal with God. Uh, is this in itself? Wisdom is God. Is God Himself? Um, but yeah, that's about that. So read the Book of Proverbs and everything else that I mentioned. Ecclesiastes and Ecclesiasticus, the Wisdom of Solomon, and other Jewish books. So even so now I'm going to talk about something else. This is going to be about the individuals who think uh, what would happen if Jerusalem was to be destroyed. I said, so even if Jerusalem were to be destroyed tomorrow, tomorrow Christ would be at the door still waiting for the Father's command to go to earth where he would arrive faster than light. So obviously this is all heavily dependent on when God commands, not on anything else. But know that once Jerusalem is destroyed, Christ is at, Christ is at the door of heaven on his white horse, infuriated, as long as with his legions and with the saints themselves. Uh, so fear the Lord. Uh, understand that this is not a game of war. Oh, this is not a game or war of wits, but of authority. And because it has to deal with authority and not on wits, it emphasizes the world of truth and destroys a secular lie that your authority is nothing or your authority is weak or your authority is this or your authority is that. Uh, but your authority comes from heaven and is ordained from heaven. Uh, so obviously you can see the conspiracy on why the secular world would try to uh, hide your authority and, and what your authority actually is uh, as much as possible with as many different things and as many different movies, as many different TV shows, uh, and just things like that. Uh, the, the, all of it is in an attempt uh, to... Uh, to greatly diminish uh, how much authority you actually have. That way, when you actually uh, succumb to these uh, tactics and these um, uh, and these warfare uh, 
instances in your life uh, you actually fall victim for the temptations and so the devil finds some more uh, legal grounds and more loopholes to actually be able to uh, use to his advantage so obviously this authority is of a high order and you must be letting God define what authority is that way you can march full force and advance on the biggest challenges you can encounter with confidence because God has explained it to you and there is absolutely no doubt in you so there is no leverage for the devil to work with as I'm sure Leviathan has something to do with this as well so don't wait for the enemy to hit back advance exclamation point uh, loose allegiance inside. You are not at all going to deplete the Holy Spirit's spirit by all the incredible work you are doing. Quite the opposite. You're probably doing less than what you actually think, and maybe even nothing if you are not even doing the will of God. Uh, so obviously you'll get more practice by going after the bigger, the biggest battles and battles that they're too scared to lose. So I'll smart the tactics of the devil. And understand that we ourselves are little Christ and do not let these demons prolong their stay inside of you. Uh, Leviathan being the reason you did not retain... Uh, this is something else. But that in itself is true as well. That's the reason why you didn't retain the integrity of your youth. Uh, break the curses and lose the good spirits to replace the wicked spirits. I'll talk about that more in depth later. Uh, but essentially this is uh, this is the, the whole point of what actually I was trying to make. Is... Uh, this is not a game or a war of wits, but of authority. And because it has to deal with authority and not on wits, it emphasizes the world of truth and destroys the secular lie that your authority is nothing. Your authority is weak, or your authority is this, or your authority is that. Uh, but your authority comes from heaven and is ordained from heaven. So obviously you have authority of a high order. You don't have just a normal, regular authority that these witches like to say, like, ah, eh, whatever. Uh, and if you actually believe the lies and you actually fall for the lies... And then obviously you really don't have that authority, so they tricked you in essence uh, into making you believe that you didn't have the the power to to be, to be able to conquer it. Uh, but this in itself is part of the secular lie in itself. If you yourself were uh, were taught everything that's written in the scriptures to be absolute truth uh, from the time of your youth up until now, and you know yourself that the secular lie is just uh, chaos in itself and just madness, uh, then obviously you know you're not really able you're not able to be. Uh, 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 stopped by the devil himself uh, so because of that uh, the devil knows that so he uses that to his advantage and he tries to get as many individuals as, uh, into this secular lie and he gives them this book and he convinces them of this lie at a later time so obviously Leviathan right so at a later time when you actually uh, want to believe uh, the world of truth and want to use your authority and want to do this and you want to do that you're met with all types of resistance and, and you're truly baffled as to why these things are even happening to you it has to deal with the iniquity that is inside of your vessel and your heart that these individuals see as legal ground as well as other legal grounds that are inside of your life uh, and ancestral curses sins of the fathers and just things like that so uh Hearken, uh, pay attention to it, break the curse of iniquity, as this in itself is a curse. Uh, it's already written in the scriptures in Isaiah 66 that I'll recompense your iniquities in your bosoms. So in essence, he was cursing these individuals is, uh, with their own, uh, with the, with the, their, uh, Iniquity is a curse, just like sin is a curse. And I'll just, uh, that's pretty self explanatory for you to actually to be able to realize. Uh, because for every curse, there's a demon to it, and for every sin, there's a demon to it, and for every iniquity, there's a demon attributed to it, uh, as well. So just break the curse, uh, deliver yourselves. It was a doctrine of a devil, uh, it's a devil itself, as it is, uh, completely contrary to what is actually, uh, written in, in, in the law of Moses and the law of Jesus Christ as well so uh so yeah now that's that's also another a uh, little bit of knowledge that many individuals didn't really under didn't really know that they could actually do that they could break the curse of iniquity in itself but obviously they can't really they can't rely on their own knowledge or uh they um uh they'll end up backsliding so uh they have to give it all to christ this is not the gospel whatsoever um uh, the the demons themselves are are desperate are in desperation for these individuals to rely on their own knowledge. Uh, that way, they could actually gain some type of foothold because they're going to begin defining uh, how to be delivered and how to and how to prolong their stay inside of uh, this uh, this individual's is a vessel. So give it to Christ. Uh, give your iniquity your your iniquities to Christ. Uh, give your curses of iniquity to Christ and ask for a more excellent way to do. Uh, with this month of light. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.
Uh, that's also something else as these individuals love to say that your authority is weak or your authority is this but these, these individuals are from the other side of the kingdom of darkness we tell these individuals the same exact thing your authority is weak your authority is this and your authority you don't even have authority and uh, your authority is nothing or your authority is that but their authority comes from the devil himself and their own wit and their own knowledge and, and their own witchcraft and their own craft itself that they're actually able to deceive another individual but uh, essentially uh, you have power so these individuals uh, have little uh, water guns and water pistols that they're shooting at you but you have real pistols with real guns uh, so obviously these individuals like to think it's a game um, but you could seriously hurt these individuals and you could seriously kill these individuals is, uh, for playing games with, with uh, one of uh, the children of God uh, this is not at all. They think that they could, honestly, they really do think that they could get away with it by trying to deceive you into thinking that uh, nothing is going to happen to them, uh, which is completely error in itself. Uh, they're not going to get away with it just because they deceived you into thinking that they were going to get away with it or because they deceived you that nothing bad was going to happen to them. Uh, that couldn't be any further from the truth. These individuals are still going to have to suffer uh, for everything that they're doing. Uh, the, the wages of sin is death. These individuals are, are these individuals are not above the law whatsoever. Uh, these individuals will have to well definitely get hurt uh, playing with the wrong people that they shouldn't play with. Uh, and I think that nobody is going to catch them and and, and, and they, they just uh, they genuinely get genuinely get a kick out of it uh, by doing their, their wickedness and nobody really doing anything about it. Uh, but God is watching and God is still charging them with these sins uh, as he charges everyone with everyone with these sins whether they are ignorant of it or not. As Leviathan is the reason why you did not retain the integrity of your youth. Uh, break the curses and lose the good spirits to replace the wicked spirits. Uh, I spoke about that earlier. How I was talking about how an individual who is actually um, not old, they're, they're not as experienced. Uh, they're not as experienced as an individual who is actually... Um, Uh, 30 years old or 40 years old uh, as these individuals have already been through the mill so to speak and then because they've been through the mill uh, these individuals have been completely uh, uh, completely uh, tested refined and purified so uh, essentially don't waste your time while you're actually young there are so many temptations that have come across uh, some of these individuals who are 40 years old have not even happened to you in your life, which is why you look as youthful as you look. So Leviathan is going to creep inside of your life to try to um, destroy your image to get you to look like the other individuals who look 28, 29, 30 years old. Uh, so you found out early, you could definitely pray ahead and think ahead and, and things like that. Uh, pray for God to keep you away from Leviathan and to preserve you from him. Uh, and... Um, and to preserve uh, the preserved of Israel, as well as the, the to raise the tribes of Jacob in itself. So intercede for individuals that you have to intercede for. Um, by smarting the devil, by interceding to have the skies cleared for legions, whenever, wherever, and however. Uh, obviously, this is, this is going to take uh, intercession as uh, you, many individuals have already read the book of Daniel. So you already know that the prince of Persia withstood Gabriel, the archangel. Uh, so because he withstood Gabriel, the, the archangel, Michael, the archangel, had to step in and actually help him out. Uh, this in itself was intercession. Maybe not intercession, but he was fasting for it, for these types of uh, angels to actually arrive to them. Uh, as... Um, uh, so obviously, because of it, some of these individuals genuinely, genuinely need to be uh, interceded for uh, strategically to ensure that uh, the devil is being outsmarted by crisis depths, and and you're interceding to the individuals to actually have their uh, legions uh, meet them uh, and not be withstood by uh, the kingdoms of darkness in Jesus Christ's name, and give it to Christ. That way, you could actually be. Um, what would be the word? 
Uh, that way you're not working harder than you should just because you didn't get rid of the, the legal grounds that were inside of your life. So you're praying and you're praying and you're still wondering why you're going through the suffrages that you're actually going through. Uh, you haven't really taken care of the reason why God was resisting you and why you actually even have to fast to begin with. Uh, so essentially as fasting is something that you humble your soul down to the ground and all the way down to the dust. Uh, that's getting rid of the Leviathan that God is resisting you for. So in essence, this is the reason why. Not that there would be any shortcuts or anything like that, uh, but this is basically the the explanation as to why uh, a fasting works. You're in, in essence, you actually, uh, as well as just other spiritual things that has to do with fasting in itself. You're humbling yourself down. You're you're seeking God. You're actually uh, your world is revolving around Jesus Christ, the Son Himself. Uh, so because your world is revolving around him, you, you're not really uh, uh, in the world to actually be believing the lies and the fiery darts of the devil itself. Some people can just stay inside of their house for, for the entire days that they're fasting for and then go out and dress as nice and as good as they can. Uh, but obviously it's all heavily dependent how long you fast uh but but yeah so intercede for the individuals is uh that you have to intercede for that way that their actual legions uh meet them uh at the time well and obviously all of this stuff is on time people uh this should allow you to actually uh let it go that it's not me who's in, it's not god who's in a it's you that's in a rush and god uh already ordained this plan for them before the beginning of time uh so you're the one that's in a rush, not God. Everything is going according to schedule. Just pray and fast and do these types of things and pray for God's will. Uh, the strong man being stronger than God is a sin. So just take the leap of faith and be delivered as this thing is plaguing your, your life and making you miserable. And it's sad that people have really lost their minds through just being psyched out by the devil acting like it's stronger than God. That people's decisions are dramatically affected just by how they view it and allow its influence and plus their general outlook on life. And to summarize it, your own state of mind is killing you. And unfortunately, people die every day because of their own intelligence and inability to understand. Not that they're incapable of understanding. It's that they don't know how. Uh, they just admit defeat because of their intelligence. As the gospel is, you need a savior. By their own intelligence, they admit. By them relying on their own intelligence, they admitted defeat. Subtly, that's essentially what it is. Through actions, they admitted defeat. Uh, so this one was pretty uh, eye-opening for many individuals to actually be able to see uh, what is really causing an individual's problems in their lives. Is they themselves, uh, they could bring a mirror up and and just point and look at it like this is the reason why my my life sucks, and uh, that's essentially what it is. Uh, so the strong man being stronger than God is a sin. So you acting like your uh, deliverance or, or your ailment, your infirmity, whatever it may be, uh, is stronger than God. You acting, and obviously you're confessing it by actions. By you saying that it's actually stronger than God, that in itself is actually sin. Uh, so just take the leap of faith and be delivered. This thing is playing your life and making you miserable. And it's sad because people have really lost their minds through just being psyched out by the devil, acting like it's stronger than God, that people's decisions are dramatically affected just by how they view it and allow its influence, and plus, their general outlook on life is dramatically affected. So it's, it's just because of how you actually view this thing inside of your life. You have given this this ailment, this infirmity, whatever, Leviathan, uh, the title of God, whether you would acknowledge, whether you would confess it, whether you want to confess it, whether you say no, or whether you don't want to say no, you could agree that by actions you have confessed that this thing is actually, you have actually uh, confessed by actions that this thing is actually God. And obviously many individuals are like, no, I would never say anything like that. 
uh, and it's like but it's like you're still suffering with this thing and then uh, these uh, these reasonings come inside of your head like well I guess it's just not my time uh, that couldn't be any any uh, further from the truth unfortunately uh, the devil would love nothing more than for him to prolong his stay inside of your vessel and he'll feed you all types of lies to ensure that you actually are uh, uh, ensuring that it actually stays in there longer than it should uh, you have your authority that you could use and just keep walking and marching forward as uh, Leviathan I'm sure is the culprit for the reason why uh, you're not actually able to be delivered why you actually see this thing uh, as you see it and why you allow its influence inside of your life as this thing is dramatically affecting uh, your decisions as well as your general outlook on life is being they're both being affected how you see life and your day-to-day -day decisions are being affected by this strong man uh whether you acknowledge it or whether you don't acknowledge it so let it go and give it to christ uh because the gospel is That you cannot do it without Christ. Um, we are a little Christ, uh, just uh, hearken and pay attention to that. Uh, also as well, the individuals are going to have to um, uh, be praying against America and Babylon in itself and stop eating the foods and actually do the research that they actually need to be doing. I'm just going to mention this before I forget. Um, and to stop eating uh, Doritos and, and, and things like that because uh, and flavoring agents, as some of these individuals use this flavoring agent uh, from an, an aborted fetus uh, from like 1986 or something along those lines. They have two uh, flavoring agents uh, from a human embryo uh, kidney. Uh, it's called HEC-293, uh, like what the heck? Uh, it's like, it's called HEC-293. Uh, and uh, this thing is is, uh, is is the flavoring agent that is in. I believe PepsiCo has a lot of uh, products in itself that actually uses this this uh, flavoring agent. And because it actually uses this flavoring agent, uh, you're actually getting cursed by you actually eating it as well as it. You're you're kind of like it's like cannibalism. You yourself are actually. Uh, they don't they don't use the same one from the aborted fetus but they got the same flavor and the same uh taste from um the aborted fetus itself so that's what you're tasting when you're actually eating these types of things i know gatorade has it uh and uh i know for sure gatorade has it so uh, pray against it by no one's directing that abomination and completely uh bomb it uh Give it to Christ. And, um, and yeah, just destroy it completely. Uh, I'll smart the devil by interceding for, um, uh, as well as just destroy, uh, Babylon itself. Um, by the ones directing Babylon's prosperity and by the ones directing Babylon itself as this spirit is a giant huge principality about the size of a dragon or uh, maybe bigger as well as there's a woman on top of this thing uh, which is the harlot church And yeah, uh, I'm just going to keep repeating the same thing that I said in the last video to just uh, let you remember. Uh, lose the good legion inside of yourself and keep interceding uh, for the people that you must intercede for. 
as the reason why as the reason why um, uh, the problem we're in the problem that we're actually in is because uh, the body of Christ is not really unified to actually be working together and because it's not really unified to be actually working together uh, nobody's really um, uh, helping each other out uh, so everybody's going to have to intercede for one another uh, and uh, and that way the angels are actually the skies are open so to speak and because the skies are open the people that actually have to get the, the help to, the people who actually do they have to do the work that they have to do are actually doing their work so some individuals have a specific work uh, of healing other individuals and some individuals have the specific work of deliverance uh, as well as some individuals just have the general work of doing all of these things at all times even though some individuals don't like to believe so or they feel too overwhelmed to do it these are generally good things as well as your, your actual work that God created you to do this is just what God uh, has called uh, every individual who is a disciple of his to actually be doing to be healing the sick, cleansing the lepers, casting uh, out devils raising the dead and just things like that uh, you have to take the leap of faith and actually jump uh, there was this individual named Tom Deckard uh, who said that if I was solely dependent on another individual's his faith, that these individuals would never get healed. Uh, so obviously some of these things you're just going to have to man up and do it for yourself. Uh, as some of these things obviously do not require another individual's his faith by evidence that he would uh, deliver, he would raise people from the dead uh, and, and and things like that without another individual's his uh, uh, faith. So it's already written that without faith, no man can please God, but uh, uh, these things are still, God is still going to be God, and God is still going to be able to heal whether you believe he can or whether you can't. These things are not going to change just because you want to throw a fit or just because you want to throw a temper tantrum that finally you're getting the healing after so many years. Uh, this is what this is a devil in itself that comes inside of your life uh, to try to prolong your healing and to try to make you, uh, um, what is that called? Uh, to try to make you lose uh, your opportunity to actually be healed. I myself have, have I bear witness that even while I was being resistant to Christ Himself, while I was going through the healing, uh, I still got healed myself. So I know that it's still possible for you to still be resistant and still be healed from uh, a rebellious rather, so still be rebellious to Christ and then still be healed either way. It is not one of those types of things where the devil will come inside of your ear and whisper, "Oh, well now you're not going to get the healing," and then whatever i still got the healing either way that stuff actually ended up happening and uh and yeah honestly i could look back and i could see how stupid i actually was for even believing that the demon that was acting like it was me that was inside of my head uh was not in fact me so obviously i feel like an idiot now about it for even believing this lies for even being so foolish and that was the reason why i was even uh resisting and, re and being rebellious because I thought it was actually me so this little demon would copy my face uh, how I, I should react and I would be copying the same exact things because I thought it was me uh, so in essence it was a familiar spirit it, it was completely stupid and uh, uh, individuals still fall for this in subtle ways and subtle tactics where an individual will act uh, they'll, they'll show your angry face or your mean face and individuals would immediately immediately get angry uh, but uh, when you actually look at the other individual's face from the outside looking in they look nothing like the angry face that they actually look like or maybe they do but uh, this is just the many tactics of the devil that he'll try to stir you up by copying your face of how you look like when you're angry and if you actually end up believing it uh, well then you're gonna act it out uh, in essence you're kind of uh, uh, an actor, you're acting, uh, so just cancel it out, give it to Christ, lose the Galatians inside of yourself, uh, as well as these individuals will definitely copy your voice into making you think that, uh, um, that's actually your voice, actually thinking these things like, ah, man, I hate you, Christ, and just little stupid things like that, that individuals still fall victim to because uh, they're very ignorant of the devices and tactics of the devil and how he attempts to deceive an individual into actually believing them. Uh, but ultimately, if an individual actually 
uh, phosphorus tricks and it still has to deal with this individual's iniquity so it's because of their heart uh, that this individual even fell for the temptation because they subtly confessed that you know what yeah that was me and yeah I do act like that and yeah yeah I'm mad uh, so the devil essentially uh, tricked this individual into believing it was actually them and they, and, uh, they felt uh, right for it so this was an issue of the heart that the individual was even able to be deceived uh, by it and because it was an issue of the heart um, obviously they were rebuked by it and that's the only reason why they even had the legality to be given with it was because uh, they believed uh, that that's genuinely how they are that's genuinely how they act uh, and, and that was them that was their character uh, it's completely stupid and it's completely foolish but um, as people still fall for it uh, there's more hidden things more uh, subtle tactics of the devil that he he does this in the same exact manner but obviously you're going to have to investigate uh, as these are just the, the ones that uh, I myself often come across and I myself often not fall victim for uh, some of these things are more more or less easier for me to discern like the face one is pretty easy I'm like yeah I don't really care uh, the general feeling of anger is like yeah I don't really care uh, and uh, the general uh, voices and things I kind of ponder it for a little bit like man does this even sound like me and it's like man whether it is me or whether it is I don't really care either way uh, so um, uh, these are just uh, what I actually have received uh, from actually reading the, the book of Proverbs where there's uh, a verse in the book of Proverbs that says that a wise man holds his tongue but a fool just blabbers his mouth or a fool is hasty and just says whatever and whatever and, and whenever I speak my mind I'm not afraid to do it uh, types of people but uh, obviously this is the devil themselves this is their strong man so to speak uh, that is actually harassing this individual uh, but they don't really realize or recognize it. They just honestly believe that it's them. That it's their, uh, uh, and because the individuals encourage it, and individuals are, are more, they praise it, like, wow, you really speak your mind. Uh, essentially, they just stay like that, uh, in that way of thinking because of it. So obviously, uh, not because you actually have this knowledge, it looks completely foolish, completely stupid, and it's like, why would anyone ever fall for it? But people still will continue to always fall for the devil's tricks, uh, as anyone who is, who even denies this as even being slightly true, uh, these individuals will definitely um, believe their lies. These people are just uh, reprobate, degenerates, and uh, without hope. Uh, as it is written in the scriptures, uh, there's more hope for. Uh, it was uh, there's more hope for a fool than a man without understanding. And like you see, a, you see a man uh, without understanding. There is more hope for a fool than for him. Uh, get understanding is written in the book of Proverbs in verse four. Uh, how get wisdom and get understanding because wisdom is a principal thing. Uh, and there's also another verse in the book of Ecclesiasticus that if you ever meet another individual who has understanding, cleave to him and make him your friend as these types of individuals are generally rare. Um, uh, but yeah, this is just the tactics. Intercede people for the types of individuals that you must intercede for. Uh, pray for... Uh, to, for Christ to actually reveal the devil's tactics in your life, uh, that way you're not succumbing to them uh, in every single aspect and in every single way, uh, especially the ones, the legal grounds that the devil, that are the devil's tactics in your life, and uh, things uh, along that line, as well as your iniquities, uh, your sins, um, your legal grounds, your ancestral sins, your generational curses, your dossier. Uh, and the sins of the fathers that uh, must be all blotted out by the, by the blood of the Lamb and by the blood of the cross. Uh, cleanse the inside of your cup. You know how you have soap when you wash your dishes? Uh, this one is going to be blood uh, instead of soap itself. So you're going to be putting this blood inside of your thing with a little sponge. And you're going to be cleansing the inside of your cup with the blood of the Lamb. So essentially that's what you're going to be doing. Uh, unfortunately, individuals are, are a little bit uh, on the... Um, the simple side of things where uh, uh, you have to you have they have to learn uh, with pictures 
and with images and they can't really learn with words uh, some individuals actually want to learn the hard way they don't really want to learn the easy way as well so uh, pray and give it to Christ um, keep losing the good legions inside of yourselves I know I was talking about that before I started talking about Leviathan and uh, we just applied it to Leviathan itself and keep losing the good legions inside of your temple uh, to replace cancel out and kick Leviathan out of your life. That way God is not resisting you. And in this same manner, you should be able to uh, intercede for, for the body of Christ in Jerusalem outward, all over across the earth to ensure that these individuals are not being resisted. And uh, they're actually uh, perfecting the fruits of, of the Spirit by, them, by their obedience to Christ himself. Basically, about sums it up. Um, well, I don't really have much else to say about that. Uh, in this manner, uh, just how smart the devil, as the devil himself, uh, looks at all the legal grounds that he actually has available to be able to use for his advantage. Uh, he's more than eager and he's more than blind to be aware of the fact that these legal grounds can all be broken uh, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Uh, I don't think I have much time with this video either way. I think this video is about to wrap up. I've been here for almost an hour. Uh, but thank you for actually paying attention to my video and for hearkening to it. Uh, what else was I going to say? Um, keep losing the good legions inside of yourself to replace your wisdom uh, with Christ's wisdom. So actually you're replacing the devil's wisdom with Christ's actual wisdom because this is what it actually is. The devil gave you this wisdom. Uh... So it's not going to profit you anything to the kingdom in the kingdom of light. Uh, it's going to profit a lot to the kingdom of darkness and in the kingdom of darkness, but it will never profit to actual truth uh, and actual um, uh, rational rationality, uh, logic, and just common sense. As many individuals are heavily dependent on their own logic and and, and and reasonings uh, that make sense to them but to Christ they just look at it and they're just like never gonna happen kid and that's it and that's uh Uh, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, thank you for actually watching my video. Uh, grace and peace be multiplied to you. And the love of Jesus Christ reign in your hearts. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, keep uh, focusing on the fruits in your character. As I already mentioned, that the whole reason why the stuff is actually happening to you while you're walking on the face of this earth. Uh, is because of the legal grounds and the tempters that come inside of your life to tempt you. Obviously, there's no temptation in heaven, so you're not able to actually fall into more sin. Uh, as that seems to be the general uh, thing uh, that is happening to you while you're walking on the face of this earth. And the Holy Spirit himself uh, is the one that is preventing you from falling into sin. Not that these temptations were going to come, but because you're actually walking on the face of this earth, these temptations are going to come. And not that the Holy Spirit isn't able to actually prevent you from uh, uh, from falling in, into sin or falling into temptation, but you're just walking on the face of this earth. Uh, there's none of that in heaven. The Holy Spirit himself is the one that's preserving you from sin when you actually go to heaven. Uh, and yeah, that's basically about it. Uh, so bind the ones directing your, your, uh, your legal grounds as you are not in heaven right now so these individuals are obviously going to use these legal grounds to ensure you never get there as well as leviathan as this in itself is a legal ground uh for god to resist you and for christ to resist you as christ is the one sending out the judgments on the face of this earth so yeah i mean obviously it sounds pretty simple right and pretty easy for you to actually be able to grasp that you actually can be sinless on earth but obviously this is all uh uh, based on your own legal grounds that you actually have here, the oppression that you have on you, uh, the tempters, your iniquity, and 
things like that that you must get rid of. As uh, God's grace is more than willing to able, well, not like that, but God's grace is more than willing to cover your mistake if it happens. But you're supposed to be perfect as Christ Himself is perfect. And in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Loose the spirit inside of yourself to be able to be and keep working towards and praying until the work is done, as well as praying for Trump. Uh, Uh, and things of that, and and good, generally good things like that, as well as wisdom, uh, losing Christ's wisdom to replace and kick out the wisdom of the devil, uh, to lose Christ's knowledge and intelligence to kick out the the, the knowledge and intelligence of the devils, and your understanding, to, uh, and to kick that out as well, and lose that inside of yourself. Uh, keep focusing on what I was actually talking about before. Just because I was speaking about Leviathan does not mean you should stop thinking about what I was actually talking about prior to it. As you're supposed to continue losing the good legions inside of yourself uh, at all times just because of the good results that individuals were actually seeing. I don't know if individuals got distracted uh, by Leviathan because of it, but because Leviathan was actually brought to your attention, um, you were actually able to... Uh, this Leviathan thing was actually coming up inside of your life, and so uh, now that the devil, now that the devil is losing more legal grounds inside of your life, he's trying to make as much and as many more legal grounds uh, as he can now, because he keep kicking him out. Uh, so um, yeah, that's basically about it. Uh, you should have more uh, success with the things and the spiritual things of uh, and the spiritual aspect of life, as well as applying things from the first heaven into the second heaven and the spiritual things. Now that Leviathan is finally getting kicked out of your life, you're no longer being resisted anymore. Uh, and this yoke of Leviathan that was inside of uh, your lives is finally off of you, and you're finally freed from that thing. Uh, give it to Christ. Uh, darkness can overcome darkness, but darkness cannot overcome light. Uh, that should be pretty self-explanatory for you if darkness ever seems to overcome you. Uh, it's probably darkness, and that's the reason why. So uh, just cast them both out. Cast both of the darkness out and loose the light inside of, your si inside of yourself and inside of your lives, as well as for your loved ones, for your family members, uh, and things of that nature. Uh, in Jesus Christ's name, uh, Amen. Yeah, I think I'll rest it up. What time is it? Remember that uh, attributing your strong man as something stronger than um, than God is a sin. Repent. Uh, lose the spirit inside of you that way, and give it to Christ. That way, you never go into this way of thinking ever again. And every single aspect. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. I'm gonna ask the Holy Spirit what He wants us to say. He says spiritual warfare, but keep doing the good legions uh, thing. As this uh, individuals were definitely getting freed from their ailments and from the types of things that were happening inside of their life. But this uh, Leviathan or this creep was inside of your life, uh, constantly uh, trying to maintain his foothold and uh, a struggle. Uh, inside of your life so he was genuinely struggling trying to actually stay inside of your life uh because of all the legions that you were actually losing but now uh that you you've identified the, the reasonings behind this type of stuff uh you can easily just get rid of it and just completely cancel it out uh in jesus christ's name amen so keep focusing on your fruits your characters uh, uh focusing on a more excellent way than heaven itself as well as a more excellent way than the fruits themselves and a more excellent way than the super fruits themselves and everything that I actually have mentioned. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Uh, spiritual warfare, fight, advance. Don't wait until the enemy uh, hits you for you to actually begin advancing. Just start advancing. Put it, uh, keep it inside of you. Get it inside of your head that all you do is advance all day. Uh, don't don't be the lies of the devil that you're not advancing at all times. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Pray for a more excellent way. Give it to Christ. 
That way you can show you what you should do with this amount of light. Thank you. Intercede for the people that you have to intercede for. Uh, for the things that I named, keep nudging the body of Christ from Jerusalem outward, especially for these types of things. Keep interceding from the body of Christ uh, for these types of things from Jerusalem outward. Uh, Rewatch my video. Read the book of Proverbs. Fight Leviathan, kick him in his teeth, kick his teeth out. Uh, read the book of, uh, of Job, how it's written in chapter 41 about him. And yeah, this video is about to wrap up either way. Uh, keep praying for Christ's grace and keep loosening the, the, the spirit of grace and supplications inside of your vessel. And over the house of David and over, the, over Jerusalem. And revelation and truth. Amen.